Welcome back, guys. Uh, we are back again. I was, uh, you know, I was live not long ago with, uh, you know, uh, Fitzgerald, but we are back here with uh, Victor. So uh, if it's your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So each time I go live, you will be notified. And uh, Victor tonight is here to tell us more about how the stock market uh, works. So you don't want to miss this and you don't want other people as well not to know about this. So please go ahead and share the live stream so we can have more people here tonight. So, uh, voilà, uh, j'ai Victor avec moi, Victor Ibois. Donc, uh, il est le, le fondateur uh, de Bonus Universe. Voilà, donc il a écrit son livre uh, sur uh, l'investissement. Donc, euh, il est en train de travailler sur ça aussi. Comme ça, vous aussi, les, les francophones, vous pouvez comprendre ce qu'ils veulent partager avec le monde. C'est un livre vraiment formidable que moi-même, j'ai lu. Donc, euh, franchement, j'attends seulement euh, la, la version française. So, Victor, you are very welcome. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me on you. You're so welcome. I'm okay. Thank you. So I would love you to tell people about, um, first of all, for the people that don't know you, I know you are an engineer, but you are also a practical investor. So we want to know everything about investments tonight. That's why I'm so, so passionate, you know, I'm so excited about what you're going to share with all of us. So please introduce yourself and tell us more about your, you know, everything you're doing. Yes, yeah, so just like you said, Kehi, my name is Victor Ebois. I'm a Cameroonian living here in Toronto, Canada. I am a professional engineer by trade. I am also a practical investor. I've been investing in the stock market for close to or pretty much over 10 years. I'm also the author of the book, Growing World Passively, The Nine Proven Ways of Making Passive Income. And now you can get it on Amazon or on my website, veuniverse.com. Or you can even call me up or send me a message on WhatsApp. My phone number is 416-684-8543. Wherever in the world you are, China, US, Canada, India, South Africa, Nigeria, Cameroon, I'm going to ship to you. I am also the author of a course, Growing World with Stock. I noticed after writing the book that a lot of people were amazed by chapter four, which was talking about stock market investing. As a matter of fact, they pushed me to write a course, Growing World with Stocks, which is also on my website. You can also get it from Kehi as well, you know, the Diaspora channel. And I'm also founder of VE Universe, which is an online educational site. So we talk about bonds, real estate, stocks, small business. We're trying to find every way to put money back into your pocket. So that's pretty much about me. Victor, I really, really want more people to join. But right now, there are a few in the chat. And I'm going to throw my very, very first question at you because I noticed in the African community where, you know, we don't talk much or we don't even know much about uh, stock markets. So can you explain exactly what a stock market is? And then we'll follow it with other questions. Okay, good. Very, very, that's, a, that's a very good question. I've, I've had that question over and over. First, I just want to say the stock market is the most lucrative investment venture when it comes to market cap. That's why one of the richest people in the world, Warren Buffett, his primary business or primary source of income is the stock market. When you talk about the stock market, what should come in your head is that peace ownership of a company. You see, when companies are created, they are created as a sole proprietor, which is a single person, or as a partnership, which is you partner with someone. Along the line, if you want to expand your business, what you do is you split your company into small pieces and you take it to the stock exchange. 
When you take it to the stock exchange, people will now buy shares. When they buy shares, they become part owner of the company. Now, what does that mean? Those people now with the founder of the company, they now own the company. So if you were one of those people who bought the share, you are now eligible to receive payment and profits from that company, and you will also attend board meeting in case they have board meeting and stuff like that. So it is very important. So you see, in the Western world, the stock market is created to fund companies and businesses. In some third world countries, when you open a company, what happens? If you want to expand or grow, what you do is you go to the bank to get funds. If there is no fund, you go to your friends or your neighbors. If the business perform well, good and fine. If in the case where the business doesn't perform, what happened? Those, the bank comes and sees your company or put a lien on your company or your relatives or your friends will be all over you. Now, in developed world, it's completely different. The system is structured to benefit people who as people who really take their time to create company. That's why they come up with the stock exchange. In the developed world, if you want to expand your business, all you have to do is become IPO, which is initial public listing. So you list your company out there to the stock market. People buy shares and they become part owner. If your company doesn't do well, no one will come to seize your company or put a lien on your company. That's the beauty about the Western world. It is structured to fund businesses and company. So that's a typical difference how third world deals with this situation and how first world deal with that same situation. The irony is that the stock market is not being taught in the university. It's not even being taught in colleges. So why, why do you think that is been missing? Like, uh, is it uh, done purposely? Um, it's not done purposely. I think one of the one of the reason is that continue the education. Okay, I can hear you better now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because the way it works is that you can make money in the stock market within a space of very short or little time. You might invest 1,000 or 2,000 and it tends to 10 or 20 within a couple of months. So when kids around the age of 16, 17, 18, they get hold of that education and start making that money, guess what? They'll probably not graduate. And what will happen? They will all get into that particular sector, which means a lot of people will be going to the stock market sector and the other sectors like nursing or engineering, there will be, you know, there will be shortage. So the government or the economy will not be balanced. So the government sees that and they say, you know what, let's keep stock market out of, you know, formal education. If you are interested in, you pay the big box to attend those seminars or workshops, which are pretty expensive. Stock market also goes within families. Let's say I am knowledgeable, I can pass it to my son or my daughter. That's another way to learn about the stock market. Another way you can read books, like the book that I wrote again, chapter number four, talks a lot about the stock market. Or you can take online courses on platforms like Udemy or Teachable. They also provide good resources about the stock market. Another thing is that most people, when they think about the stock market, what comes in your head, they always think it's for the wealthy people or the rich people. Little did they know that if you educate yourself, you should be able to be profitable in the stock market. So that's pretty much what the stock market is. On a, brief, on a brief description, I can break it down for you. When you look at the stock market, look at the stock market, 
it's breaking down into preferred stocks and common stocks. Right. And on common stock, you break it to individual stocks and diversified portfolio. Individual stocks are just what you see every day. You buy shares of Apple or Amazon mm. or Walmart. But after some time, people say, why am I buying only individual stock? What happens if the stock is not performing well? It means I'm not going to make money. Why can't I have a piece of every company? Mm. That's why diversified portfolio came in. The first branch of diversified portfolio is mutual fund. Okay. Which which is managed by the bank. So you pay the bank, a fund manager manages it for you, mm. and charge you this commission fee, which ranges from zero to 10%. Sometimes it's so high that you don't really make money. From mutual fund, it moves to what is called index fund. Index fund, you might have heard about the FTSE 100 there in London Stock Exchange. You also have S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial. Market index is simply you buy a fund that tracks the market index. So there is little or no charge, completely no charge. So all the money goes to your pocket. And last but not the least is the exchange traded fund, which is, is one of the newest development when it comes to the stock market. <clears throat> the exchange traded fund. So exchange traded fund is just, it's also a diversified portfolio, but unlike mutual fund and index fund, which are traded just once in the stock market with exchange traded fund, you can trade it multiple times. So it's broken down into sector and also broken down into index. So, when you get to diversified portfolio, that's when it becomes a little bit complicated. So that's why I urge you guys to get educated about the stock market. When it comes to the stock market, knowledge is power. And you also have to watch out for the fees. So I know you said um, is either you have to go and you know go to like seminars and pay very you know like a lot of money to to have more knowledge about how the stock markets work and the stocks so how much are we talking about roughly okay that's a good question the first yes. workshop that I, I attended and that was organized by robert kiyosaki okay. the guy the guy who wrote the book the rich that poor that i paid okay. one thousand dollars <throat> Okay. I paid one thousand dollars for the course. Some co there are some courses for five thousand dollars, depending on how it is organized. Mm. So they are pretty expensive. Any city that you live in during summer, just go to downtown. In all those hotels, Hilton or Fairmont Hotel, they always have those conferences. Wow. They come from Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary, Damon John, Mark Cuban. They move from cities to cities and countries to countries. Okay. They teach those stuff. So that's why I decided to create my own course to bring it back to our community. Mm. And make it so needed. I make it so affordable to be able to spread to the black community, especially Africans. Mm -hmm. Because if they learn about that, they can, you know, share it with their friends and, and family. So I make it so affordable that everyone can get hold of. And mm -hmm. I nailed all the most important points, especially because anytime people talk about the stock market, they always talk mm -hmm. about making money, making money, making money. <laughs> forget that you can also lose money. Yes. So most people who know about the stock money, they make money and they lose money. My principle in the stock market is make money, don't lose any money. So I that like that. I come up with a defensive approach. Mm -hmm. I've never lost money in the stock market, never. Wow. And that, that's because I evaluate the company so well. Mm -hmm. in. You see somebody like Warren Buffett who is so profitable in the stock market. Mm. He also has an assistant that does the technical analysis. He's called Charlie Munger. Anytime you hear Warren Buffett buying 4 million shares of Bank of America or Kroger, there is someone behind the analysis. So there is a lot of technicality mm -hmm. in the stock market. 
my advice to people is that please do yourself a favor. Mm -hmm. Don't get into the stock market with no education or half education. Because guess what? It's a recipe of failure. Mm -hmm. You make $500, $1,000, but mm -hmm. when you crash, it's going to be too hard. I've had people call me that I lost $5,000, $10,000. My question is, uh, what's your level in the stock market? Oh, no, my friend just called me and says, buy Amazon, buy Apple. I'm <laughs> like, sorry, I cannot help you. Because you go out there and buy something that you don't even know about. You need to That's evaluate true. company. And it's easy to evaluate companies. Just look mm. at the network of the company. Most companies in the Western world are very transparent. They don't hide stuff. You go to their website, they have, they have their financial statement, which have the balance sheet, the income statement. That's the way you, you evaluate it. So do yourself a favor. I see some people watch my video and they see how I enter Walmart and I buy, I enter Amazon and I buy. They mm. think that that's enough to go and start buying shares. Please. I don't like to get those calls when you lose money. <laughs> because I, I, I like what you are doing because like you, you know, I've mentioned in the beginning in our African community, stocks is, uh, you know, stocks or stock market is just something that, you know, we, we rarely talk about. So that's why if we are talking about building a generational wealth legacy, we can't rely on the nine to five in order to do that. So we have to know how the stock market works. And, you know, like you said, it's not just about, oh, my friend told me, so you go and actually invest in something you don't have no clue about. And like, you know, it's good you mentioned because sometimes people don't even know that you have to pay sometimes thousand or even more just for a course. And you know, why you, you did an amazing job with this book that I would recommend everyone to, you know, to get this book. Because all you need, you know, the informations are here. And it's not even half the price. The price. So you don't have nothing, guys. You don't have nothing to lose. Gay for yourself, gay for you know a, a young person out there that you know that oh he's 17, 18. You know, they, they all need this knowledge in order to navigate properly in life when it comes to financial literacy, they need this book. So please don't just come here, listen, and go home. But whatever you're going to pick from tonight's stream, share with people, get the book so you can get the knowledge you need and then you take it from there. And it's a good thing, you know, Victor is, I know he's extremely busy, but people that want to know what exactly can I invest in, at least he's open whenever he's free to give you that support, to give you the guidance, the advice you need. So thanks so much for putting this together. Yeah, and plus I also do coaching and mentorship. If you go wow. to my Site, veuniverse.com there is a page for coaching and mentorship there is also a page where you can go through the course and see the outline of the course and the curriculum the outline of the course is amazing it's mind-blowing you have little even if you have little or no knowledge about the stock market you've never traded before the, the course is for you if you have traded in forex or cryptocurrency before Forex is about currency trading. Crypto is about, you know, the Bitcoin or the hypothetical currency. If you are traded with that and you want to get into the stock market, the course is also good for you. If you are a trader, wish to do day trading, or if you are an investor where you just want to invoice, the course is good for you. After taking the course, you will have in-depth knowledge. I mean, you will have it and like a platter of gold, you have the knowledge of the stock market in your palms. So you'll be able to make money instantly. And again, just like I said, it's a defensive approach. I did what is called the risk management um, strategy. I tell you how to find the risk. You see, the stock market is like you are going to war. 
if you go to war with no ammunition, like shield or gun, what happened? Your enemy is going to crush you. If you get into the stock market with, without knowledge, the stock market is going to crush you. So that's why I decided to come up with a very, very defensive approach. And also when it comes to the stock market, just like I said, knowledge is power, but fees also do matter. Any brokerage that you choose, because you can buy stocks in either the bank or a broker, try to check with them what are their fees. Sometimes you have what is called a trading fee. They might say it's 2% or 3%. You might think it's so little, but with time it compounds to thousands of dollars. Let's say you invest $10,000 or $20,000. Do you know 5% of $20,000? That's a lot of money. Those are things I teach you in my course, how to choose a broker. I also explain which brokers to choose. Nowadays, the world is too small. You travel all the time. Today, you are in the UK. Tomorrow, you are in South Africa. The next day, you are in Nigeria, Cameroon, Canada. Choose a broker which is international. So when you travel, you should be able to take advantage and still trade. There are some brokerage platform that are restricted to a particular country. So take that into consideration anytime you get into the stock market. Choose a broker that is international to make things very comfortable for you in case you are traveling. Victor, I think you actually answered my you know, my next question for maybe in case there are some other thing you would love to add is this one I'm asking for myself and, you know, my audience, like just uh, simple people out here that just learn what you are sharing with us and they love like to invest in the stock market. So what what would you advise them to to do apart from, you know, like I said, I suggest everyone get this great book instead of looking for you know those thousand of dollars course you know courses of a thousand plus get this book as a starter so what other things would you advise uh, you know uh, us to do okay good so it's very important when you for you to get started in the stock market just like i mentioned initially knowledge is power so get educated, have like the basic knowledge. And again, chapter four of the book, you know, chapter four, which is stock market investing, gives you the basic knowledge to get into the stock market. It tells you what are stocks? Why do people buy stocks? Why do companies sell stocks? Um, what are the strategies of trading stocks? It also tells you the risks involved in the stock market. It also tells you how stock, stock returns are taxed. So that gives you a basic of how to approach it. Now, once you are comfortable and you choose a broker, what you have to do is you have to start investing, you know, slowly. Don't just come in and start investing with 500 or 1,000. Start very little. There are shares for under one dollar. There are shares of two pound. There are shares of, of one pound. So you buy those ones that are so cheap and then you hold it for a couple of months. Practice makes perfect when it comes to the stock market. You see, the stock market knowledge doesn't come up overnight. You have to, it's something that you have to buy and sell. That's why you see the most successful people in the stock market are people who are actually Practicing, you see Warren Buffett, Kevin O'Leary, they buy and sell all the time regularly. Stock market is not theory. It's not something where you read it like you are reading economy and you just come up one day and you start investing $100,000. You have to start small. You call it baby steps. There is another way. They call it dollar cost averaging. If you are working, what you can do is with your brokerage account, you can set it up that every month, even 25 pounds or $25 goes into your stock brokerage account. When that goes into your account, you can use it to buy three or four shares. Slowly, 
And when that happens, the money is coming direct from your checking account, so it doesn't pain you as if you are losing money or something of that sort. As that time goes on, that's how you build your knowledge. You build your knowledge. Another thing to take into consideration, when stock market, the way you are taxing the stock market, it depends on how long you hold the fund or the capital gain. Because when you make market in the stock market, you make money in two ways, capital gain or dividend, which I explain those in my book. But sometimes people, when they make profit, they want to take it out within three months or four months. That's considered as an active income. They're going to charge you 20 to 30 percent, the same way they are charging employee. So keep your money in the stock market for at least a year to move it to the bracket, which is zero to five percent. That's why you see rich people don't pay taxes because they keep their money in investment over a period of time where there is little or no taxes. Last but not the least, before you invest in the stock market, keep your emergency fund. Have money that you can use for your keep up or your kids or you want to do something. Any money that you invest in the stock market, consider it to be there for a long run. Because you don't want to invest in something in the stock market within two or three months, you're trying to take it out. That's not good. So have your emergency fund and the money in the stock market, call it investment. It's like you're starting a business. That's your startup cost of your business. Leave it there and see it mature. That's when you're going to enjoy or you rip off from the stock market. Because the more your money stays in, the more you have capital growth. So that's my advice for people who are getting into the stock market for the first time. All right. Awesome. I've also heard about the real estate um, stocks. Is it actually true? And, uh, you know, if you know about how it works, then, you know, tell us more about it. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a very exciting question, you know. You know, especially us in the African community, we already know about real estate. There's no question about it. Mm. It's one of the most tangible, you know, investment venture. You can touch it, you can feel it, you can touch the bricks. But you see, in the developed world, real estate is kind of a little bit complicated. You have to get a down payment. Sometimes they ask you 20% of a 500,000 you know, house. That's a huge amount of money. Sometimes they need a good credit. If you don't have a good credit, there's no way you can afford to buy a house in some cities. So it's kind of a little bit complicated because the startup cost is a lot. On the other hand, in Africa, if you have your money, you just buy a piece of land and you build, which makes it easy, you know, if you have the capital or the money. So people in the third world, if you don't have this chunk of money to put in as down payment for real estate, what is the easiest way to get into investing in real estate? The easiest way to get into real estate investment is to invest in what is called the real estate stocks, aka REITs. It's called Real Estate Investment Trust. Now, what does that mean? Real Estate Investment Trust simply means you are investing in companies that services the real estate domain. So you have real estate already running. These companies, they just service this real estate. For example, you have companies that own shopping malls. They have all these shopping malls, the plaza. They are making chunks of profit. So you can benefit from that profit by buying their shares. Their shares are called the REIT. Some of them are like Rio Can or New York Residential Inc. They are breaking down into two categories. So when you look at the real estate stocks or REIT, they are breaking down into two categories. You have the E-REITs. E-REITs are company that that invests in the equity sector of real estate, the ones that own shopping malls, playgrounds, cinema complex. Typical one of them here in Canada is Rio Can. When you buy their shares, when they make profit as a result of this shopping mall, you also make money. That's so sweet. The other sector is the Emirates. Emirates are companies that are involved with the mortgage system. 
So you see, sometimes when you buy a house, for you to get mortgage, it passes through a third party. The third party would be the one that will accept your mortgage and says, okay, we can be, we can work together as a partner. These companies which are within that category are called MREITs. So all you have to do, you buy their share. When they make money, you make money. So you have E-REITs, you have MREIT. A typical example of MREIT, which is like, it's under $10, is New York Residential Inc. The ticker symbol is NRZ. You can just buy that, it's less than $10, and you see it grow slowly, that's how you make profit. So to invest in real estate in a developed world, the easiest way and the cheapest way is by buying a real estate investment trust. I did a video where I talked about five real estate investment trusts on sale. All of them are selling under $10. So if you'd like, you can check that video on my YouTube. And that's my YouTube there, VE Universe, Victor, VE Universe. So that's pretty much it. Real estate, you want to invest with it, no problem. You don't need to have 20% or 30% to put for down payment. You don't need no credit check. Just buy a real estate investment trust and you make your money. You make your money from capital growth. You make your money from dividend. So easy. The easiest way to make money. <laughs> awesome, 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 uh, Victor. I love what you are sharing with myself and my audience right now. And please, guys, don't keep this for yourself. Make sure you share with family and friends. And this book... Growing Wealth Passively is Victor that wrote this book. You, you need all this information yourself and you can, like I said, you can also get it to, to bless other people, the young ones, you know, maybe mature ones, you know, you need to get this for them. It's all about educating each one, each one, but to growing wealth passively. So we Africans, we like oil and gas. And I, I you know, I think I'm across yeah, one of your videos about oil and gas is so can, you know, people actually invest in oil and gas stocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's a good point. And, you know, you know, us African, when you work in the oil and gas industry, mm. it's, like, it's like a prestigious <laughs> sector. People look mm -hmm. at it in a very high esteem. They are like, oh, who is she? Who is that guy who works in the oil and gas? And as a matter of fact, for you to work in oil and gas, you either have to work in all these big companies like Exxon Mobil, Shell, Total, British Petroleum, BP. But not everybody have the opportunity to work in those companies. Or sometimes you need to own a fueling station. You know how much it costs to own a fueling station? <laughs> it's a huge amount of money. Or you have an oil well. There are people who own oil well or oil refinery. So those are the people who are big when it comes to oil and gas. But the ordinary person like you and me, we can also benefit. We can reap from the profit of oil and gas. And what do we do? It's so simple. We invest or we buy stocks from those oil and gas companies, the big shots. Any brokerage platform that you are, you can buy stocks. You can buy Shell. You can buy stock from Shell. You can buy Exxon Mobile. Some of them, I mean, I did a video with some of them, Vermilion Energy, Duke Energy. They are selling under 15 or $20. When you invest in this company, when Shell or Total or Mobile, when they make money, you also get a share. It's like a win-win. You buy the share, it runs the company, you become a shareholder, they make money, you make money. Another easy way. And when you do you know what it means to own, do you know what it means to own um, shares of Shell, Duke Energy, Exxon Mobil, BP? Explain it to us, Victor. You receive, they send you letters all the time. They invite you for share, shareholder meeting. You can fly to UK with your own BP. You can fly to US with your own Exxon Mobil. That's how people make money. You, all you have to do on your platform, you look for the ticker symbol. I did the video where I talked about um, Vermilion Energy, Cenovus Energy, Exxon Mobile, Shell, 
you just buy their shares. That's why the stock market is the most lucrative, but hidden. It's hidden to the normal people. When people think about the stock market, what do they think? Rich. They think people are rich. They see me in the stock market, they are like, Victor, I don't want to use the word. I don't want to use the word that people say to me, like, are you trying to be, you know, because I'm in the stock market, they think I have a different color or something. Mm. Let me not go into that detail, but getting into oil and gas, Mm. you you don't need to own an oil well. You don't need to work for Shell or Mobil or Exxon. Just wow. buy shares and make money. Awesome. Guys, if you have uh, some questions, just uh, quickly, quickly. We have, let's say, five minutes. So put your question in the chat. What I will do, I'll put Victor uh, channel link in the description box. So for the people that watch this uh, stream later, so you can actually keep eye on his channel as well to learn more about uh, stock uh, markets and other things. So I'm sure you heard about this already, about the split between Apple and Tesla. I think. Have you heard about it? Oh, that's a great news. That's a great news, um, Kai. You know what will happen? This is a new stream of millionaires coming in. What right. happens right now in the stock market is a great news. Tesla is doing what is called a five to one split. Now, what does what that mean? That? That means that if you own one share of Tesla right now, mm-hmm. it comes equal to five shares. So one to five. Oh, wow. If you have two shares, it becomes 10. So think of it as if you have one, there's additional four. So each one becomes five. Now, why do they do that? The reason Tesla is doing that is because they want to invite a lot of young investors. Right. The share price right now for Tesla is over $1,500. Not everybody can afford to buy that. And the board of directors of Tesla doesn't want that because they want more money to expand. Tesla is putting itself out there to become one of the best in the world with all the subsidiaries. They have Solar City, Maxwell Technology. Now they own SpaceX. They are getting into aviation. Oh, wow. $1,500 a share is too expensive. So now what do they do? They break it down into five. So that $1,500 divided by five, it now gives you $300. This is going to take effect from August the ending of August. So by September 1st, when you check Tesla's share, it will be $300. So okay. people who were not able to buy it, they're going to rush it. There are people mm-hmm. now, some investors right now, they are just putting their money together, 10000 20000 They're just going to buy. And Tesla is a very profitable company. Come November, December, you might even see the 300 move to $400 and $500. Mm. And when you look about the split, if you are already a shareholder, the value of your shares doesn't, doesn't change. It's just the number. You are having two, it becomes 10. Same thing with, with Tesla itself. The value of the company doesn't change. It remains the same. It's just that your number of shares increases. And wow. for the normal people, more people can now, because most people were not able to buy Tesla. It's too expensive. Mm-hmm. I bought my first Tesla share at $741. Okay. And some of my friends like were like, like my subscribers, they were like, wow, Victor, you bought it so expensive. Mm. I said, yes, I know about the value of the company. Mm. Tesla is worth about $3,000. It's supposed to be where Amazon is. I know. Right. So I can buy for $741. I know it's going mm. to make money. And where is it right now? $1,500. During the, the, the breakdown, during the, the, the period where the crisis was too tough, mm-hmm. I bought it at 381. So I bought one 741. It dips, which is called the bear market. I Aye. bought it at 381. Now I am on average 681. Today, mm. it's 1,600. So I've made almost $2,000 on profit already. Okay. That, that's great. So I think it's also very important then the way you, with what you just explained to really, really keep high on what is happening on daily basis, right? 
Yeah, and that's the thing with the stock market. When you're in the stock market, it looks for the trend. There are certain things that happen because the way you make market in the stock market is based on trend, the activities that are happening. Also, Apple, Apple is also doing a four to one. Mm -hmm. Right now, Apple is selling for $450 on average a share. Okay. From 1st of September, Apple will be divided by four. So it's like $110 a share. Okay. A lot of people will now come in. I was planning to buy Apple when it was down at $300. I was waiting for it to come down to $240 or $230. It did not. Instead, it moved to $400 or $500. Mm. Now that it's coming to one. Now. You think I'm going to waste time? No. I'm going to say it. <laughs> I understand now because, you know, I, I follow one guy. And when he was sharing this uh, Apple news, he was so, so excited. and was like, guys, this is the time, you know, it's going to happen very, very soon. So make sure you get in there and you get what you need to get. I'm like, oh, why this guys is so so excited about this news but now the way you explain things i know because before you won't be able to buy it at that price and now is is you know let's say it's very affordable for most people so i understand now why he's just like guys this is you know this is the time just get get things ready and go and get your your share so yeah it's, it's great it's great so it, it, the, uh, let me quickly put this question. I think it's a question, yeah, for you. Oh, okay, that's a very good question. Which is better to save and buy, mortgage a house or invest your down payment in a REIT? <clears throat> that's a very good point. If you but are, can we know where, where you live, please? Uh, world and passion. If you can put that information, that would be good. So anyone that watch this later, maybe if they are not from your side, uh, you know, it depends what uh, uh, answer uh, Victor has for you. But yeah, Victor, go, go ahead. Yeah, so to get a down payment for a mortgage, it's pretty, it's a huge amount of money. Right. Just like I said, in some places you need 20%, it, mm -hmm. it might go right down to like 5%. Like here in Canada, it's so expensive. It was 20%. Now right. you can negotiate it down to, you know, 15 But the, the benchmark is 20%. Okay. So what, what happened is that you can start investing because with REIT, you can buy REIT as low as $5 or $10. So once you buy them, you invest and you make profit. As time goes on, it grows. It can even get you up to the point where you make a lot of money that you can now use as a down payment to put for a mm. structure. So okay. you use the REIT as a benchmark to get your down payment. So for the, the people that don't necessarily understand what REIT means, can you explain to them? Yeah, REIT is Real Estate Investment Trust, a.k.a. the real estate stocks. So all you do is that you invest in companies that are investing in the real estate domain. Mm. So you might have a company that owns shopping malls, cinema complex, playgrounds. Mm. You buy their share. When they make money from their cinema complex and playground, you also make money. You are a shareholder. Shareholder, yeah. you are even bigger. You are bigger because the company holds you on a very high esteem. There mm -hmm. are sectors. There's the e read which deals with the equity part, and there is m read which deals with the mortgage part. So you can use that as a benchmark to raise your down payment, and then you can mm -hmm. buy them out. Awesome, awesome. Guys, thanks everyone for joining. John, um, Victor, do you have any last thing to say before we end the stream? And we are, you know, what I will do, I'll put all the details you guys need in the description box for the book, for the course, and also uh, Victor uh, uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, no, all I have to say is that the stock market, again, is the most lucrative investment venture that little or none is taught in the university or colleges. Mm. If you want to get through, try to get in in the defensive approach, right. not, not losing money. 
Warren Buffett said, and I quote, the rule of money is, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. So <laughs> all, all terms and conditions is try not to lose money when you are in the stock market. That's why I recommend my course, Growing Well with Stocks. It's a defensive approach. It's like you are arming yourself before getting to the stock market. Don't go into the stock market and you find yourself that you don't have resources. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be trapped. I don't like 99% of people who lose money in the stock market is because of no knowledge. Mm -hmm. Someone just introduced them to the stock market. So it's either you have no knowledge or you have a financial problem. The two ways you lose money in the stock market, the first way, little or no knowledge, which is recipe mm -hmm. for failure or you did not have investment or you did not have emergency fund. Let's mm. say you invest money and sometimes things happen and you have financial crisis. Sometimes you might sell your stocks on a, you know, on a loss just because you have financial issue. So mm. that's two, you know, two points to take into consideration. Awesome. Thanks so much, Vito, for your time. And uh, definitely I will try and have you back on again this uh you know uh, financial literacy education that's what you are doing right now so i'll definitely have you back on so guys thanks so much for joining the stream kindly thumbs up the stream if you haven't yet you know thumbs up the stream and please subscribe if you are new here so uh, pour uh, les francophones on va seulement attendre que victor uh, finish avec la version uh, française comme ça vous pouvez aussi uh, avoir uh, vous pouvez acheter le livre et, et comprendre bien ce qu'il est en train de nous expliquer uh, concernant les investissements donc uh, merci 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 d'être encore ici et de nous avoir suivi uh, très très bon weekend à tous et à très bientôt so guys thanks so much and i will see you all next week if if i'm not yet yeah, 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 tomorrow for another another life it will be next week and god bless you all bye 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 bye